Work in with people. Supersets, okay? Be reasonable. If someone wants to work in leg extension with you, just let them work in, right? You do your set. You put your towel on. Maybe you wipe down between before they jump on. Sometimes, look, I'm going to admit, like if they go, oh, don't worry about wiping it down, I'm like, sweet, you don't need to worry either. Because like, I'm like, oh, man, I'm going to wash these clothes anyway. I'm going to have a shower after this. Uh, and I know I did talk about like wiping the stuff down. But if you're like working in with someone and you're kind of cool with them, like whatever. If you're not cool, if you're like, uh, I'm just going to wipe down like after you finish, is that cool? Like just be reasonable. This is what kind of freaks people out and does kind of piss people off in the gyms, like working in with supersets. Most of the time, it's okay. Like with machines and stuff, leg extension, leg curl, uh, leg press, hack squat, like it's kind of cool. Unless it's like, you know, there's a 14-year-old guy who's like doing uh, bench press and it's like 40 kilos. And let's say, you know, I rock up there and I'm doing 120 uh, for five reps. And uh, he's like, can I work in? I might say, I might say no, to be honest, because maybe I don't feel like, uh, you know, taking 100 kilos off the bar every single time he's going to do bench press and then putting it back on, then doing my set and then taking them all off and then him benching 40. Like, I feel like that is reasonable because I'm doing such a, such a heavier weight than him. I'm just going to waste time in between sets, taking ages. Uh, I think with squat racks, like if someone's deadlifting a lot, maybe don't work in with them. If someone's like squatting a lot, they're way stronger than you, maybe don't work in with them. Um, But most of the time, like pin loaded machines, I think you can. Like you're just moving a pin from like 27 kgs to 64 kilos. Okay, now you go. All right, take it out. Bang, bang. All right, you go. With free weights, I think there can be a bit of conversation around it, like sharing barbells and, and things like that. If the weights are reasonably close, I feel like you can have a bit more of a like, look, man, like I'm just kind of like doing my training. So like, just like, let's, let's not work in today. <laughs> um, or if you're doing like short rest periods and they need like, and they need to be like every 30 seconds or every 60 seconds, like someone working in is probably going to take longer than that. So that's going to throw your workout off. If you have a legit reason, I feel like it's a perfect excuse just to like not to make it up but if you're like hey look man like my rest period is only 60 seconds if you're going in there it's just just going to be a longer can you come back in five minutes and maybe do another exercise i feel like that's a completely legit you know conversation that you can have with someone and then you know you can move forward if you're supersetting as well this is what i found worked really well if people wanted to work in and so let's just say i'm doing leg extension to leg press if someone wanted to use the leg extension machine, like in my rest, I'll be like, yeah, man, 100%. I'm going to do leg press. While I'm doing leg press, you can do your set. Then I'm going to come back and do leg extension. And then, you know, that's my turn. That is a perfect example. So supersetting in the gym is very common. It's a very time efficient way to train. Um, so I feel like, you know, when you're supersetting and like that's a great opportunity to put people in while you're resting. Um, so you can be productive while someone's working in with you. Um, and I feel like this conversation kind of needs to be had because there's a lot of, like, I've seen people that are super sour. I've trained people and we're doing super sets and I'm like, Hey man, can I like jump in the leg press with you? And they're like, nah. And I'm like, Oh, why not? And he's just like, Oh, uh, you know, I'm just doing my sets. Just like, leave me alone. So like, you know, I left that guy alone, but you know, I didn't like it. (laughs) I don't think that it's, you know, the best attitude to have. Like if you, if you don't want to work in with someone, like at least have a legit excuse. Like, if you just want to be a dick and be like, no, I'm doing the leg press, look, that's you. You can be your own person. Uh, but I just think that you're not doing much for the gym culture. I think that, you know, the gym culture should be a great place for everyone to experience working out, experience. Like, we're all there for the same reason, right? We all want to build muscle. We all most probably want to drop body fat or just get stronger. We don't even have to drop body fat. We all want to kind of like build muscle and get stronger. We can we can agree on that, right? Like, can we not just have a positive environment? Can we not just be like, yeah, mate, like jump in. Cool. No drama. Like, far out. Am I an outlier here? Like, I know your workouts can be serious. And I know that this might be the only 45 minutes, 60 minutes that you have to train. Then give that reason. Don't just say, no, piss off. Like, hey, mate, 
I'm sorry. I like I I only have like 60 seconds rest. I'm doing this leg press. Like I've got 45 minutes to train. I'm just trying to bang it out. Like, can you please use another leg press or can you just wait like a couple of minutes while I finish? I would happily wait because I have a legit reason. It's just communication. All right, just like a a good relationship between husband and wife works with good relationship uh, communication, open lines of communication, the same works with gym culture. Just chat it out, man. Chat it out. Superset. Work in.